Hey folks, welcome to YouTube channel of RVMAX.US. My name is Sachin Shaw. My number is 864-404-0054. Or our son, mine, his number is 864-376-5600. Those are our subscribers knows. Our son does most video. Me and my wife, or my, me and my daughter, we, she does a lot of paperwork and my wife's behind the camera here. So today we're gonna talk about this 380DS made by Coachman Sports Coach. Uh, it's a 38 footer diesel pusher. We just got it in and we're about to put new Uniroyal tires on them all the way around and uh, all that good stuff. So let's jump into this thing. 2005 Coachman Sports Coach. We're gonna give you a quick overview of this 2005 Coachman. So it's got a beautiful metallic black exterior, full paint, new tires, Uniroyal all the way around. Uh, we'll go thoroughly later, but all the basement compartment has 92 cubic feet of a interior pass-through storage and all that stuff. But we're just going to show you quickly outside. There's two slides on a driver's side and the patio side. You have a lots of room with the patio awning. Back here, you have a C7 7.2 liter Caterpillar turbocharged diesel engine with the MH, that's Motorhome, 3000 series Allison automatic push button transmission. And with a 7.2 liter, you got an 860 foot pound of torque. That's what torque, uh, uh, CAT's known for. So you have a 10,000 pound towing capacity uh, versus some of the other competitor. They have, uh, you know, ISB. 5.9 or 6.7 liter have a lesser torque. So CAT's known for more torque. So it'll tow 10,000 pound. All right, overview of a passenger side continues on this 38 feet Encore sports coach. Uh, got a two-step awning, it's just simple. It just, you know, you pull it. And uh, one thing about this Carefree of Colorado two-step awning, you could actually install a motor and convert into a power, uh, awnings very easily. We also have a manual entrance awning and the great thing about a manual tr uh, entrance awning they don't go bad. Electric about a 9 out of 10 when they get 10-15 years old they go bad so entrance awning is a manual it's really good. Um, so let's get into a little more depth of uh, inside and uh, good and bad and ugly stuff. All right. All right so we're going to talk about a little bit of flaws. You got some foggy windows. We got a road rock chip especially below here. Got some tear, uh, some little chips here heavily. Uh, let's see, uh, maybe a few more rock chips here. Uh, if I have to guess, I bet you the previous owner with 83,000 miles, there are a few thousand miles were put on going to Alaska. Uh, some scratches here, a slight little oxidation bubble here. I mean, look, I'm a, I'm a king of a nitpicker and there are some people out there probably worse than I am. It's a very, very small oxidation. This is a metal piece right here. So mostly what I would say is uh, some ro road rock chips and those road rock chips are very visible when you get close. So 15 feet, 20 feet, it's beautiful. It's a full paint. Uh, come around the back, we have some clear coat coming off right here. Uh, hey, by the way, it was the NC Farm family. This guy was a lawyer and had a farm. So got a little clear coat coming off right here. And uh, few more road rock chips on the bottom. And then over here, we got a little boo-boo on the bottom right here. And a slight boo-boo here. I mean, look, if I hire some body shop to take care of little stuff like this, it'd be a couple of $300, okay? But if you wanted to paint all the entire bottom, you're talking several hundred bucks or a couple of thousand dollars. Um, let's just talk about the storage while we at it. So back here, it should be your engine bay or Yep, it is well. It's a part of your fuel. By the way, speaking of filter, we're gonna have a engine and chassis be serviced next week. When we put new tires, it'll be serviced. It's got a big LP tank right here, probably 38 gallons. Uh, check our description. Uh, 10 gallon water heater. Over here you have a four Cummins six volt deep cycle batteries for coat side. We've got a little scrape here and a little scratch there. Uh, by the way, still got the Michelin tires on it. We're going to take them off and put a um, Uni Royal tires. All right. 
This is access to your water tank and inverter. I'm sorry, it's inverter. It's got an inverter. That's an access for inverter. We got a slide out tray. I think it's got a 94 cubic feet. Lots of storage. I love the underbelly storage. It also has a Dirt Devil central vacuum system. How about that? Interior. It looks very clean. There's some extra uh, water waterproof laminate floor. So it's got lots of storage. And what I like the best part of it is a pass through with a one slide out tray. So pretty much same flaw here. We got some road rock chips just like the other side. Other than that is a beautiful motorhome. I love the beautiful sports coach front look. It's got the aggressive look of a European style bus. No 3M film in the front. Got a few little scuff marks, uh, you know, here and there, but overall in really good shape. Uh, headlight could be buffed out and make them shiny. Uh, got a little star crack here, about uh, eight inches above the uh, bottom. So it's kind of not in your viewing area, but it does have one and another one. Oh, wow, I found two of them two star cracks. All right. All right, let's do inside uh, glimpse of this 2005 Coachman Sports Coach. So it's got an LVP, luxurious vinyl plank floor coming in. Um, dash seems to be in good shape. Got a Samsung TV up here, Blu-ray player. A video distribution box up here. And uh, we'll show that when we get out. I'm gonna show here at the captain's seat you have a 86,452 miles uh, backup monitor is black and white it has HWA hydraulic leveling I'd like to mention that while I'm talking about it, it's got an air dump you hit the air dump and it just releases the air in the motorhome and, uh, and then you can it just uh, brings the whole coach down, and then you can put your jacks down, 
the driver's side rear jack is sticking so you kind of have to have two by four to pick it up may need a little lube in it or something but that's one thing we know is wrong uh typical stuff on older motorhome uh but the jacks leveling jacks works you got exhaust brakes uh you got a nice air horn you could turn that off and and you got a city horn here you know typical stuff you got steering wheel is telescopic or tilt uh still a neutral push button six speed allison we got electric it looks like something wrong with that shade. Uh, the one on passenger side is missing. Uh, those are the window shades, or what do you call the? Um, but they are there. Uh, How many miles, got, are? miles are eighty-six thousand miles. Already I mentioned that. We got a sixty-five hundred watts generator. It's a quiet diesel on-end generator. Let's look at the hours. It has around two thousand. Right over here. 238 hours. Uh, got a Xantrex monitor panel here to control your inverter, charger, all that stuff. The ceiling looks to, seems to be in really, really good shape. We'll, we'll do a drone shot on top. But still, right being in front, let, let's talk about all the condition of the walls. They look really good shape, okay? No perforation. It's just solid coach uh, below here. If I could nitpick right here between the windshield and this window, I got a little wallpaper coming, just a little soft, but no big deal. That could be from sweating on the windshield. But overall, a really good solid coach, no leaks. Uh, oh, by the way, right under here, let me show you. Got a couple of scratches. You get them for free. Uh, that's from the slide coming in and out. Uh, Previous owner who traded it in put nice, I guess, what do you call this? But daylight, day bed? It's a day bed. I mean, it's pretty, man, pretty comfortable. Um, and they put some drawers under here, pretty deep drawers. And same thing on this side, got a little love seat. By the way, both of those seats swivel around, both are power seats. And I noticed one thing, the driver wanted the passenger seat, so put a wider seat, usually it's on this side, they swapped it, you can swap it back. Uh, maybe driver was a little bigger, because <laughs> uh, it has that tilt uh, foot wrist on the driver's side. Uh, there are some drawers under here, we just put some latches so they can latch properly and stay in there. Kitchen consists of Corian countertops. GE profile convection oven. Got three burner gas stove. Doesn't seem like they have cooked much here. Looks pretty new. Got nice backsplash. That must be done later because a lot of these in 05 era, they had those uh, mirrored. So that looks like somebody did that. It doesn't look factory. It matches pretty good. It could be factory. I'm not sure. Got side-by-side -side refrigerator. Uh oh, my Bluetooth fell off. So we got a little original ceramic tile in the kitchen area. It's there. They left it and put the LVP floor here, engineered luxurious vinyl plank floor. We've got a booth dinette. Also has some storage under here i think they changed some of the light bulbs i can tell that's not so they've done some tastefully you know uh remodeling in here that's not fact with his day bed and all that stuff got a day and night shade they seem to be in good shape some of them needs to be restrung or tighten the strings up on the bottom um, you know, it's got a few flaws. We can address some, and some stuff you can take care of it. I mean, you know, use motorhomes. I like to, let me take my time here and tell you, it's all good. RV lifestyle is really great, but if you're not a little tinker, tinker man, like those are the folks watching this video on a home, you got to be always going to Home Depot, Lowe's, doing little, little improvements. Uh, if you're afraid of doing that, then this may not be lifestyle for you. I mean, you got it. They're not like, there's nothing man-made that run forever, and nothing never breaks, so... 
uh, people know what I'm talking about here. Uh, but overall, if your engine, transmission, generator, air conditioning, big thing works, they could, uh, they can break too. But if you maintain them, they won't. So here's a little pocket door and it snaps back in. I like that. Just push it down. We've got a couple of drawers under that refrigerator. Come on in the center part of the coach. Uh, the LVP continues all the way into the bedroom. I'm not sure if this original, or fact, uh, they replaced it. That looks like a mow one. That didn't come factory. So, you know, previous owner who traded it in at another new dealership, they, they did a lot of improvements or upgrades or remodeling, whatever you call it. A little, what is that? Brush, toothbrush holder, maybe soap holder or whatever. Uh, we have a stand-up shower in here. Let me get in here and see. Yeah, with my hat, I'm probably six foot one inch or something. Mm -hmm. Pretty pretty tall. Yeah, they changed those two. Mo one, I think. All the shower and stuff. This is a, not real stone, but it looks like it. It's a vinyl. Over here, you have a private toilet. It looks like I saw a little booklet in there. It's a porcelain domatic RV toilet, and the LVP continues in there. Now, here's another thing you can see. All these walls, all solid. And outside, we saw, you know, some rock, road rock chip and flaw, but no d lamb. I didn't see any d lamb. This is a solid coach. Over here, you could put a washer dryer. That, that's where it will go, but you gotta prep it and put it in there. Maybe pre prepped, I'm not sure. Here's the stickers in here 78 gallons of fresh water tank. It does have a 10,000 towing capacity, that's, that's really good. But back here in the bedroom, you got two doors that comes out one over here, and one over here. about that little squeak goes with it for free back in a bedroom like I said earlier the LVP continues except this upper part where the engine access is it's got a carpet and the carpet seems to be in good shape uh, and you have a big closet back here I mean looks like 24 inches 18 inch at least you put your shirts and dresses and stuff pretty large me go on this side and those things break sometimes these are good they get brittle plastic would break so I think it looks like a queen size bed but look at look at the room on a both side Let, let's point out you see the room there they probably had a nightstand they took it out and look at the uh, space here so you could go California uh, queen size or king size if you like to just keep in mind but if it comes out here the person who sleeps here will have only like six or eight inches here to get out but if you're getting out of here you got plenty of room you could go bigger those are the people looking at it hey I'd like to have a king size bed you could do so you just got to modify let's what's on, let's see what's under the bed a little bit of storage not a whole lot I wouldn't put put some extra bed materials so you got a both windows on, two windows on both sides of the bed. I like those over having a back, big window on the back, my personal opinion. Man, I get cold at night. I don't like to have my feet cold or my head cold. That's where the, uh, it gets me, so I don't like the windows in the back. Windows on the side, it's fine. Uh, you know, wake up in the morning, you can look out. Looks like these are not factory, you see these? So those notorious string kind of, Window shades, you can change them and put these. You can buy them at Bilo, I mean, Lowe's or Home Depot. Bilo is our local grocery store. I must be hungry. All right, so uh, got a little LCD TV here, two roof air conditioners. Uh, let's see what I forgot. But anything I forgot you can mention interior wise? Well, it is a bed, day bed, so it doesn't jackknife or nothing. So when you take this off, by the way, I'm glad you brought that up, boo. So back here, they do have a cushion part. See that? 
it's got a cushiony part beside this big pillow. Same goes here. It has a, it's been upholstered back here. A little kid can sleep here, maybe two adult or adult and a half and two over here. So you can have one, two, maybe one, one, two here, maybe two to three or four, one here. You could sleep six people easily. Five to six, maybe with the kids seven. Depends on the size. Uh, that becomes a bed too, yeah. Yep, yep, it's a booth dinette, so this would fold down. Uh, let's see. So it was a trade-in. Let me sum it up. We're going to do a test drive, but let me sum it up. It was South Carolina, North Carolina coach. Uh, came out. We have a Carfax. Just look at our Carfax. Uh, and we got it from North Carolina. Um, farmer slash attorney had it. Traded in, bought a new motorhome. So that's how we acquire our motorhomes. We don't go to auction like we used to years ago. That's where you get a lot of bank repos and the quality seems to be very low. Uh, once in a while you run into a good motorhome, but this is a good quality trading motorhome. We helped you to get finance. If you need financing, if you have a 700 above score, um, let's see, uh, we do sell warranty, so you could buy warranty on this thing. Uh, we do take trades. Thank you for watching this video. I'll get on a road, but let me go ahead and put my phone number 864-404-0054 or 864-376-5600. Thank you, have a great day. All right, here we're doing a test drive for this 2005 sports coach. So, um, it's an in-town driving, about 30 miles an hour, cruise on really good. So to sum up the whole video, 83,000 miles, sorry, 86,454 miles. So this motorhome is not shy of a road, it's been on the road. What you don't want is a very older motorhome, I mean this is a 15 years old. You don't want a 15 year old motorhome with 10,000 miles, okay? Um, unless absolutely you know who owned it and they cranked it up and drove it around or something. Older motorhome with a low miles is a bad news. You need to drive these diesels. They are demanding you to drive. Uh, we are on our beautiful South Carolina bumpy roads, but we're going to take a little interstate and give you a little um, feedback on it. So he's got a black and white backup monitor, CD player. I mean, you know, for next to nothing, five, six hundred bucks, you can get you a nice color backup monitor with a touch screen and Bluetooth built into it, about $800 my guys can do it here. Um, uh, with the Apple Play, whatever they call it, Apple, Apple Car Play, all that stuff. So uh, it does have an exhaust brake uh, over here. I got it on. Uh, six bit Allison. Let's see. Yep, exhaust brake works. As, as soon as you let off the fuel pedal, it's engaging the exhaust brake. Let's see uh, what else I can mention here. So, you know, it's got a newer Samsung TV. Uh, it's got nice new floors, updated furniture inside. It's, it's, it's very nicely redone, remodeled. So, uh, you know, a few flaws that goes along with the age. Uh, let's see what else I could like to add, but it runs really good right now. With the new tires in the front, it, it's gonna ride really, really nice. It's gonna ride even a whole lot better than it is. I mean, it is driving good, but the new tires always help. There are Uni Royal tires we're gonna put on. It does have an air horn and a city horn. So a uh, city horn helps like this. And air horn, I love horns. So let's get into a little discussion about the engine. It's a Freightliner raised rail X, X-Ray C Charlie. It's a raised rail chassis, so you have a lots of underbelly storage. It's got a slide out tray, as you saw earlier. Uh, it has a C7, 7.2 liter cat with 860 foot pound of a torque. It's a better than a, some of the Cummins, the ISB, okay? It's a, a air condition is pretty cool, okay? Eh, you can put another shot of Freon, make it make it colder if you like to, but air condition seems to work. Um, 
Yeah, we're gonna get on interstate in just a little bit. All righty, by the way, you got a telescopic tilt steering wheel. Uh, seat goes up and down, it's a five-way electric seats. I love it. All righty, here we go. About 45 miles an hour, 50, 55. I love the fact the mirrors are, are visible from your windshield, not from this foggy window. So safety is okay there, we can see it. About right at 60 miles an hour, I just engage the cruise, cruise works. You get the optimal fuel mileage at 55 to 60, even 65. Once you go on 70, 75, which it'll do, um, your fuel mileage obviously drops. So what we're doing, I think I got it engaged at 60 now. Runs really good. Uh, no vibration from the road, uh, just a smooth riding machine. Freightliner air ride. I mean, this is a nice chassis. No wind noise. I mean, surprisingly, this is a, like a, you know, kind of entry-level coach, but sports coach, maybe a little bit higher than their cross country and stuff that Coachman has. No wind noise. Uh, we're doing about 65 now. It runs really, really well. So let's sum it up. A 2005 sports coach encore 38 ds that double slide 86,000 miles about 2200 hours on generator diesel generator uh, new tires new floors new furniture inside got a few flaws you know like the one of the jack sticks but it comes back up uh windshield visors got some uh wire tie on it probably a uh, motor needs to be changed or something you know but you could change those or put a manual one so it's got a few flaws okay uh, but road and camp ready everything works in it air conditions work water pump water heater it'll be turnkey from here um, exhaust brake works and i love it it drives really well i'm impressed with the you know coach like it is i mean it just drives really really well uh, Hey, look out for our 10,000 subscribers video. Mayan and Kaya, uh, or Mayan especially talking about it, he wants to do a 10,000 subscriber special video. We're approaching there. So right now, Nicole's in behind this camera. And uh, <laughs> so we're gonna give credit to everybody here. We're just a small family business. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, go ahead and put a notification on so whenever we put new video on of some new motorhome we got you'll be the first one to know uh, a lot of time motorhomes are sold with our videos so we are just like any other RV dealers we're on RVT RV trader but our videos kind of give a little more personal touch it still does not replace uh, coming and looking at it but you know in our video description we kind of describe you flaws like I like to say good bad and ugly stuff so uh, I see, I need to put a new wiper or, uh, blades there. That's not a big deal. We keep them in stock. Um, we're not perfect, but this is our logo. Uh, this is our motto. Treat others like you like to be treated. And at the end of the day, we're not a non-profit uh, business. We're a for-profit. But if you treat others like you want to be treated, uh, at the end of the day, you could, you, could, you could make good living. You know, that's all we're doing. We just make a living doing this. And we love what we do. We Actually, in about an hour, I hook up a trailer behind another motorhome and we'll go into mountain falls to look at some color change. So, you know, again, I'm not putting other de RV dealers down. Some RV dealers don't even camp in the motorhome. We love what we sell. This is our lifestyle. And speaking of that, guess what? I've got toolbox with me. I got an electrical tape. I got my uh, test light. I always go with the stuff like that, even battery chargers, because something can go wrong. And I think in earlier in this video, I said that. If you think the camping is all fun and no trouble, then don't buy motorhome. Go into hotels, okay? Uh, and get some bed bugs. <laughs> uh, anyway, enough for my blabbing. My test drive video is over. Drives good, no issues here. Uh, once again, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, look out for our 10,000 subscriber video that mine wants to put up. Uh, it's gonna be special video. God bless you guys and have a great day.
forgot to add our phone numbers, 864-404-0054. That's my number, 864-404-0054. Omayan's number is 864-376-5600. That's 864-376-5600. Or just leave us a text if you don't answer the phone. Uh, we appreciate you again. Thank you and have a great day.